incredible. I'm not really into what they call size zero models. I like my women to weigh more than the clothes that they wear. But when it comes to cars, the lighter, the better. Now this is Mazda's new Super Mini, the two. And the Japanese manufacturers certainly stuck their fingers down the throat of the latest version. Incredible. The majority of the weight saving has been achieved for a new, lighter body. But the whole car is littered with weight saving technology. Lighter car, crisper performance, better economy. And what you're left with in the end is a really nice little number. Incredible. Incredible. The lighter car is complemented by a better suspension setup. The car's lower and it's got bigger wheels and a slightly harder setting. And as a result, when you go into the bends, it does really give you a sticky feel. The only thing I don't really like about driving this car is the power steering. It's fly-by-wire, electronically controlled. And sometimes, especially at lower speeds, you get this detached feeling that really unnerves you. It doesn't give you much confidence at all. Incredible. chances of you ever having to push your Mazda 2 are pretty rare. They're about as reliable as they come. But if you ever get into a super mini pushing race with your mates, this is the car to have on your side. There is one thing that the Mazda 2 is going to see a lot of, and that's shopping. Some models come with a Achilles entry system, but this particular one doesn't. But what it does have is lots of room in the boot for a Super Mini. You can quite happily fit tons of shopping in here. And sponge bobs, of course. Inside the two, it's very driver friendly and well laid out. There's nothing actually wrong with it, it's just not as nice as the alternatives on the market. This dashboard, for instance, is padded on a lot of its closest rivals. Mazda haven't rammed out the interior with lots of new extras or anything like that, but you have got the standard equipment that you get these days the air conditioning, the MP3 CD player, and even a little auxiliary input in the centre console. I think one of the most impressive things about this car is the styling. Mazda have their own individual design ethic and it stands out from the rest of the chaff on the road. The Mazda 2 holds its own against any other car in its class with regards to performance, styling, price and interior space. But I'd rather be seen in this than any of the other jelly mould cars on the road. <laughs> 